Snowmen at Halloween by Carolyn Buner. Pictures by Mark Buner. One autumn day, the air turned cold and it began to snow. We went outside and made some snowmen standing in a row. My sister had a box of dress ups out for Halloween, and soon all those snowmen were the scariest we'd ever seen. We went off to a party and trick or treating too, then headed home in the dark when everything was through. As we passed our snowmen, I thought I saw one wink. Did they want to have fun too? Well, this is what I think. It's a dark and spooky night, but the snowmen aren't afraid. They'll follow one another in a Halloween parade. Gliding down the moonlit streets into the village square, beckoned by the twinkling lights and lanterns hanging there. They'll see lots of orange pumpkins heaped up in a pile. Every snowman gets to carve a very scary smile. They'll like playing all the games and fishing for a prize and have their faces painted by an artist in disguise. Some bite into caramel treats, which give them gooey grins. Others bob for apples in the apple bobbing bins. For a coin, the fortune teller sees a snowman's fate. Will it be warm sun or snowstorms they'll anticipate? Maybe they'll wander through a maze made out of hay. Twisting turns and dead ends make it fun to find the way. Someone will be telling tales about a snowman ghost. I'll bet spooky stories is what snowmen like the most. If they're Halloweens like mine, they'll want to trick or treat and head home with their buckets full of every kind of sweet. There'll be a lot of giggling on their way back home from town, and it'll take a while before those snowmen settle down. That's what I thought they'd do, but I guess I'll never know because it warmed up overnight and melted down the snow. The dress ups are in piles, but there's something in between. A snowman message just for us. Happy Halloween.